Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Authentic Info Podcast. I'm your host, Admar Sandilita. Gauteng is up for grabs. Looking at the top three political parties in South Africa, they are premier candidates for Gauteng. ANC has Panyazali Sufi, DA has Solim Simang, and there is information that the EFF might use Mbuisen and Lose to try and win Gauteng. So these three premier candidates have their own... Uh, track of leadership successes. We know that Panyaza has been the best MEC in Gauteng uh, when he was the MEC for education and he performed very well and everyone else was applauding him. On the other side, Solim Simang, someone who uh, was once even beaten for problems, you know, for corruption and things like that uh, while he was a DA leader in, 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 in Twane. So, we know that the DA has been accused by all these political parties, including the ruling party, of being a bully in these metros, and they don't perform well in, in townships, but in suburbs. So the EFF, on the other hand, has never been tried and tested in a, in a premier's position. There's no track record of how they can they how can they perform in a provincial level. But we know that they are they have members of a provincial legislature and things like that. But in terms of premier's position, uh, they've never been tried, they've never been tested, and it's 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 a race that they have to to fight, and uh, it's a battle which they have to win in 2024 on the ground through votes through elections. But at least the likes of DA have a track record of leadership in the Western Cape, but it differs when it comes to Gauteng, and uh, when we check the likes of Panyaza, Panyaza has been tried and tested. Anyaza has proven to be someone who loves Gauteng. He has his own small and young skeletons. He's accused of different uh, criminal uh, activities that he's implicated in. He is also accused of uh, misusing provincial resources to mobilize for the ANC to win Gauteng and South Africa in 2024. Through Ama Panyaza, has been accused of uh, using uh, that recruitment drive to mobilize for the ANC. I mean, he is in that position and he has to be strategic. If that is the case, let it be. I mean, both parties are benefiting. The ANC is benefiting because people are going to vote for it. And young people are, are getting jobs. I mean, in anyone, including any other politician, was going to do that. So... We can blame him. Opposition parties can blame him because they want his position. But looking at the profile of the three, I think Panyaza stands a chance. But we know that what also plays a role in uh, provincial leadership, it's not uh, someone's profile, but the political party's way of, of, of leadership. So the EFF has shown some rapid growth. There has been some questions coming on the side of the DA because they've been accused of wanting to take over, to take everything, and whenever they are afforded a chance to lead, especially in townships, they underperform. We know that uh, they fail to, se to render services for the people of Ekuruleni, and uh, as soon as political parties like the, 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 the EFF started to participate in government positions, we saw changes. So the EFF might refer to Ekuruleni as their stronghold, and they might, they might use their successes at Ekurlane to try and convince the masses of Gauteng to vote for Muisen and Lose and the EFF to take over Gauteng in 2024. So there is a, a battle, uh, and I think it will be very competitive, but we cannot rule out Panyaz. Uh, we know that uh, there were some, th th there were uh, previous elections where the a a ANC was accused of uh, rigging votes and things like that. But in terms of performance, Panyaza is the guy who has a good track record, is the guy who everyone loves so much. He's a, someone who has created jobs for a lot of people. And I think that is going to work for the ANC. They are going to use that recruitment drive. They are going to talk about it as their reference. So I don't know what DA in, in Gauteng is going to talk about. Because Twana is a mess. Twana is a mess. And 
they don't want to account. They are also playing the blame game, something that the ANC has been doing in national level, blaming apartheid and things like that. So I think these issues are going to play a role when it comes to uh, elections, general elections in 2024. People are going to listen to the, the leaders speaking with reference. They are no longer going to speak, uh, to, to, to wait for them to make promises. Leaders must come to the people and say, we have solved this problem, we have solved this problem, we have solved that problem. That is why the political parties like Patriotic Alliance shouldn't be ruled out in the 2024 elections. I think they are going to get some few seats in parliament because they have a record of uh, executing duties successfully. Wherever they are given a chance, they work for the people and they are always on the ground. And I think this is something that the ANC has failed for, 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 for too long. And opposition parties have used that loophole to, to, to uh, attract the attention of the masses. Look, for example, I think uh, Dr. Ntsohaku of the EFF, who is MMC for Public Safety in Johannesburg, should be the premier candidate for Gauteng, other than Mbuisein. Because Moisen and Rose has never been tested anywhere in terms of uh, rendering services to the people, occupying a leadership position that requires one to render services to the people, basic needs. He is good in parliament, he is good in the EFF uh, top leadership, he is good you know, in, 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 in politics, uh, political education position, He's doing all those things very well, does good in campaigns, but he has never been tested. He has never been given a position uh, where he, he, he proves to the people that uh, they can work the ground, uh, they can render services, basic services to the people. I think the public, uh, I mean, the MMC for, for, for Jobek Metro, the, the, the AFF MMC for Jobek Metro, Dr. Talks, that stands a good chance to convince the people of uh, Houting to vote for the EFF. So the EFF should have considered him, or should, if they have not yet considered Ndrozi, because these are still rumors. They should consider that man to be premier of Houting. I think he's, he is a candidate who they are overlooking, and uh, I think people could uh, resonate well with him because he is on the ground, and as soon as he took over that position, like what Kenny Kunen is doing in, in, in Johannesburg. These are the most popular known MMCs in South Africa currently. And they're on the ground interacting with the people, ensuring that services are being rendered. They sometimes work together in joint operations and they succeed in whatever they do. So I think the EFF should have considered the Johannesburg Metro uh, MMC for public safety. Uh, who comes from their ranks. I think they should, should have considered... I mean, they took him from... They recalled him from Parliament to give him uh, that post. He performed very well. He outshined everyone else, including ANC uh, uh, leaders who have long been serving in government. And he's not outshining them because he's a darling of the media, but he's on the ground and we see his work because now uh, the, the Johannesburg Metro Police are, are in all corners of Johannesburg. We understand that the problems of crime in Johannesburg are rife, but visibility of JMPD uh, is it's it's it's, uh, it's, it's on, on 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 it's top notch. It's on point, and uh, they are always visible, whether it's at night. Uh, whether it's during the day in all corners of of of, of Johannesburg, in in these highways in, that connect Soweto, they are always there, trying to be visible to prevent crime and to be readily available to attend to crime. So, uh, these are some of the things that are visible that people can see. So, I think they compromised him, and I think if they have not yet considered those, they should consider that guy for the position of premier. I think he can compete with Panyaza, and he doesn't like Panyaza. Because whenever there are matters in Johannesburg that they need to attend, Panyaza is there. 
because Panyaza can see that they are heading towards elections and he also wants to be seen to be doing something. So he can see that Panyaza is some sort of a media darling who is quick to respond to issues. And he can see that Panyaza, whenever Panyaza is there, he is overshadowed and he cannot be seen to be doing anything and it will look like solutions come from the ANC provincial level, even though they went there to parade in the media and left. And then these MMC still have to work. So I think Dr. Tago, given that chance, he can contest uh, 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 Panyaza Lusufi with all that he has. Solim Simanga, I don't see him uh, delivering anything for the DA. The DA will still have to work hard to deliver Gauteng for themselves. Uh, I, I, no one, I mean, amongst black people in, in our majority, it's very few people who uh, take him serious. It's very few. He might be a good leader in his own right, but I don't know what are his leadership qualities. But the DA, if the DA has tipped, tipped him and is... Uh, going for the Houting top job, let it be. But I don't think he can compete Panyaza. He doesn't stand a chance. Even Lowe's doesn't stand a chance to compete Panyaza. In Houting, I don't think so. Unless if these two political parties, ANC, D, I mean DA, EFF, are willing to work hard in this uh, province, in this province of Houting, unless if they are willing to work hard to help mobilize for these guys to emerge victorious. Other than that, the ANC will take healthy. This is Authentic Info Podcast. I'm your host, Admar Sandejak. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let's engage in the comment section. Like, share. Thank you.